Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. First and foremost, I'd like to start this lesson by giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha, Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and taught me this 100% truth. Salutations unto the 144,000 doing the work of the Lord in all truth, honor, and sincerity. Shalom to the one third men, women, and children who believe in this word being taught unto them. Shabrava Amna wa Allah. Back at you with another lesson entitled, If the world be created for our sakes. You know, this is a question that Ezra was asking the angel, man. You know, pretty much asking the angel that, right, like, if, if the world was created for our sakes, like, why, why are we the ones at the bottom? Why are we the ones catching hell? Why are we the ones under the, you know, uh, um, under the foot of our enemies, man? Okay? But you see, let's start off here in uh, the book of Daniel. Let me see what Daniel 2 and 20 says real quick and then I'm going to go to uh, Daniel 4. Alright, so um, this is Daniel 2 and 20 and it reads, Daniel answered and said, Blessed be the name of Yahweh forever and ever for wisdom and might are his. Okay. And he changeth the times and the seasons he removeth kings and setteth up kings. Right, this is what this is what the Lord does, man. He puts one uh, one king in rulership and he brings another one down. Alright? That's that, you know, the Lord governs everything, man. You know, Proverbs 21 and 1 even says the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. All right, meaning that the Lord is the one that that you know works on, uh, you know these these different rulers. He works on their minds, okay, in order to bring forth His will, okay. So really, man, you see, when, when you're dealing with a power like that, man, the best thing to do is just to fear Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, man, and not try and go against the grain, you know. So it says, let's read it again, Daniel two. And 21 And he changeth the times and the seasons He removeth kings And setteth up kings Right He giveth wisdom unto the wise And knowledge to them that know understanding Okay So the point is He set he removeth kings And he setteth up kings Alright That's what That's what That's what The Lord does Okay So Esau Eden being in rulership and having the, the Israelites under his foot is only for, you know, a, a, a short period of time. You know, before we get to Daniel 4 and 17, let's get the book of Job real quick. Uh, what's that? Job 4 that I'm looking for? No. Uh... Might be 20 and 5. I ain't brought out in a while. Alright, Job 20, starting at verse 4. It says, Knowest thou not this of old, since man was placed upon earth, that the triumphant of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment? Okay? The triumphant of the wicked is it's short man and but for a moment so though to us it seems like it's a long time because you know Esau Edom has been ruling over us you know what's that Isaiah 10 and 5 oh Assyrian the rod of mine anger modern day Assyrian would be the Edomites right because we've been catching hell under these Edomites for some time now you know it's like damn like when 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 is this devil going to be taken out of power man like, you know, what does it say in Baruch 3 and 8? We are yet this day in our captivity, you know? So it's just like, like you know, when, when, when is this situation going to change for us, man? 
Are we just going to be permanently under the foot of our enemies? Okay, but it says here in Job 20 and 5 that the triumphant of the wicked is short. All right, e Esau, Edom been over us for like what? Give or take the past 500 years, right? Well, doesn't the scripture say recompense unto them double? Which we are going to recompense unto them double because they're going to be under captivity to us for a thousand years, man, before the Edomites are completely done away with, according to um, Obadiah 118. All right? That the triumphant of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment. Okay? But for a moment, man. All right? It says, though his excellency mount up to the heavens and his head reach unto the clouds, yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. They which have seen him shall say, where is he? Okay, so so though he, he's ruling now, he's prospering now, uh, he's about to perish forever like, his, like, like, like a piece of shit, man. Like the piece of shit devil that he is. Okay? So it's like, yeah, I mean, we're in a shit situation now, man. But I mean, you know, not too long from now. All right, this, this devil is going to be ours. Is going to be captive to us, you know, to take captives. Who captives they was, okay? And then, and then, and then, shortly after that, you know, after the thousand years, all right, this devil is going to be completely done away with, man. Never, never again to see another pale skin Edomite in the kingdom, man. All right, this is this is what's getting ready to happen, man. This is what's getting ready to happen, okay? That's why the scriptures say, "He who endures until the end, the same shall be saved," man. Because this thing is all about endurance. It's not about who finishes first. It's about who stays in the race until the very end. You know, there's a scripture on that somewhere in Corinthians, I believe, but I can't even I can't even quote it in my head properly, so I ain't even gonna bother to find it, man. All right, but uh, yeah, it says, yeah, he shall perish forever like his own dung, man. Okay, so this is what's getting ready to happen. All right, um, what did I want? Daniel 4, right? Because this is all the will of the Heavenly Father. All right, we are all subject to the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahashah. Doesn't the scriptures say in Proverbs 20 and 24, a man's goings are of the Lord. Therefore, how can a man understand his own way? All right. So this is Daniel 4 and 17. And it reads, This matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of men and giveth it to whomsoever he will and setteth up over it the basest of men. All right, and set up over it the basest of men. Who are the uh, who are the basest of men? Well, let's let's prove it with scripture, man. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's pretty obvious who the basest of men are. I mean, I'm just gonna come out and say it. the damn Edomites, man, the so-called white people. They're the basest of men. Okay, it says and set up over it the basest of men. So even the fact that Esau Edom is in power right now, that is the work of the Lord. Okay. He, he setteth up the kings, man. He bringeth one up and bringeth one down. All right. Uh, what's that? Job 30 and 7, I believe. Uh, Job 30 and 8. Well, really, man. We, <laughs> really, you know, the first few verses of this, of the, of this chapter goes into it, man. But... Uh, let me just go straight to the point, man. Let me let me start at six. Job thirty and six says, "To dwell in the cliffs of the valleys, in the caves of the earths, and in the rocks." You know, because what Esau Edom is from the the, the the what's it the Caucasus Mountains, man. You know that's why, you know uh, the, the 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 word cave dweller actually go the word cave dweller. You know, the word Caucasian goes back to cave dweller. And what nation of people are described as Caucasian? None other than the so-called white people, biblically known as the Edomites. Alright? It says in verse 7, 
Among the bushes they brayed, all right? This is when Esau Edom was in a very, very low estate, man. To bray is to go like, bruh, 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 bruh. You know, you, like, you, know you, you, ain't, you ain't speaking like a, like, like a normal human being, man. You're basically, you're, uh, you're, you're likened onto a beast. That's what it means to bray, bruh, 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 bruh. you know? Uh, do me a favor, man, go on Google, and if you type in wood wolves, and go to images and you see what kind of images pop up and in that whole visual visualization of of of, of esau eden brain will, will, will make all the sense in the world man okay so um verse eight the point right it says uh they were children of fools yeah children of base men they were viler than the earth all right they were viler than the earth man the basest of men the so-called white man the biblically known as the edomites the caucasians the cave dwellers whoever you want to call them these are the basest of men okay and right now you know as it says in job 9 and 24 the earth is given into the hand of the wicked all right which again is esau edom the so-called white man all right so now let's get back to let's get back to second edge six Second Ezra 6 will start at 54. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures. And who, who um, Adam was a was an Israelite. Okay, Adam. What's this guy doing, man? I bet it's a woman as well. Yep. Of course. Yeah, so Adam was a, um, an Israelite, who by the way is Yahweh Shai. Okay. See, I knew it was a woman, a, a nigger woman at that. Fucking Eve, man. Uh, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all, and the people also whom thou hast chosen. All this I have spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. The world was made for the Adamites' sakes, which who, what nation of people, are the Adamites today, the Israelites, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you would be the modern day Adamites, all right? So it says, uh, uh, verse 56, as for the other people, who, who are the other people? The other nations, right? So like, yeah. Bear with me with the wind noise, you know, I've got to drive with the windows nowadays, with the windows down these days, man. You know, I've got in a little situation. Even this morning, man, I, hey, man, we catching hell, man. I, hey, bro, I, I woke up this morning, right? I, I'm coming to the car, right? So just to find that someone has stolen the front badge of, 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 of my vehicle, man. Like, fuck you gonna do with that? I mean, well, I mean, in the front badge of my car, you have like a, a certain uh, a, a certain sensor, which I reckon is probably worth a couple hundred, man. Which, <laughs> man, uh, even like you know, it pissed me off, man. But I, 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 I was you know set to do this lesson, so I still kind of you know, so I still did the lesson as I'm doing now. But you know, I, I gotta sort that out now, you know. But <laughs> so you see, like Adam is like, like yo, man. You know, the world is created for our sakes, but like, we, we just threw out here, man. We catching hell, like, things just ain't working out and just, you know, we're just being treated. However, but anyways, man, that's the story for another day. Um, so back to the point. It says, um, as for the other people, the other nations, right, which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing but be like unto spittle. And another scripture that backs that up in the Old Testament is Isaiah 40 and verse 15 
All right, it goes into divinations being likened unto spittle to the Lord, man. All right, and has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. Yeah, like you know, you got a big bucket of water, right? And 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 you're carrying it, and you know you're walking, and you have those little drops that 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 spill onto the floor. You know that's insignificant in comparison to the whole bucket of water. You know, so that's how the the, the Lord. Views these other nations Okay Verse 57 And now O Lord behold These heathen Which have ever been reputed as nothing Have begun to be lords over us And to devour us Okay they are, we, These heathens are completely devouring us man I mean let's, let's take a look at Elam man And Eve Alright imagine, imagine that man Eve is bold Because she's under the curses Written in Isaiah chapter 3 Around about the 16th verse on down Alright And 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 and, uh, and who, who does she go to For that Brazilian weave Or that wherever, wherever they call it man Which some of these weaves Right you know you can get a cheap one Cost you you know, you know 50 pound Whatever you know you can, Then you got some that, that go into the couple hundred Then you got some that go into the thousands Man Alright you got Eve not paying rent Just so that she can buy a weave and go to that motive just just to you know in hopes that at the end of the night you know uh, jamal or tyrone in the lamborghini urus is is, is going to take her back to his place you know not on her face all right and send her ass home all right so she, she 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 didn't pay the rent just for that you know just to give herself that opportunity for that to happen you know, so, you know, buy that weave, that weave that's in the thousands, just just for that situation with Jamal to play out, man, and for her for next week to come, and for her to do it all again, going out with the girl with the girls. You know, it's summertime now, isn't it? So so that's what they're going to be doing, man, going out with the girlies, hot girl summer, all of that shit, yeah. You know, but yeah, man. So so even Eve has to go to to the heathen, right, the Elamites, to get her fake hair, man. So these heathens have completely devoured us. We have to go to this to these heathens for the want of all things. We want to borrow money. We want this. We want that. We have to go to Esau's uh, bank system, credit system. All right, they have to, you know. So really, <laughs> hey man, we're in hell, man. We're in hell, and the scriptures are playing out exactly as 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 it's written. Okay, it says in verse fifty-eight, but we thy people. Whom thou hast called thy firstborn, who are the firstborns? The the the, the Adamites, alright? And, and and who are the Adamites today? The Adamites today are the um, are the Israelites, okay? You Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, right? It says, But we thy people, whom thou hast called thy firstborn, thy only for, uh, begotten, and thy fervent lover, are given into their hands. Uh, we we're, we're given into their hands, man. All right, we 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 servants and handmaids right now. You know, I woke up this morning unwillingly, didn't get much sleep. You know, to slave at Esau Edom's job. You know, I've woken up to go to the plantation field, man. This is the reality of 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 the nation of Israel right now. Even though you know, even those jakes that have sold out. And you'd perceive them to be on somewhat of a high level, wherever the case may be. All right, they they they're subject to someone as well. They have handlers. They have certain things they have to do. And if they don't do those certain things, well, then they lose the money, cars, and clothes, the status, the fame, the clout, wherever the case may be. All right, so we're really we're just oppressed, man. You know, that's the curses Deuteronomy 28 Thy feet shall not find Thy soul shall not find rest uh, uh, Roughly paraphrasing that scripture You know, because we, we don't find no rest, man You know, we're, we're, we're just uh, <laughs> You know, we, we, we just suffer However we go, man You know Even this now, like You know, I already <laughs> Hey, man If the Israelites were, 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 were you know were to make a book on suffering Hey what's that scripture In John 21 and 25 man It talks about how Yahweh Shai performed so many miracles That there's not even a, 
There's not even enough books that can contain the amount of miracles he performed. Hey, man, we can liken that onto the suffering, man. There's not even enough books. <laughs> There's not enough books, man, that can be written to go into the sufferings of, of the Israelites, man. Especially those of us in this truth, man. Which, hey, man, I ain't been here, you know, long. I'm, I'm a baby, man. And I, I, I've gone through certain things and I'm going through certain things. So I can only imagine that like, how... It is for, for the elder apostles, man. Beginning with elder apostles to heart, been in been in this thing damn near forty years, man. You know, ima imagine imagine uh, 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 the, the the patience of that man. All right, and and those you know beloved men around him, and the other elder apostles, you know, and bishops. Okay, on down, man. If we're suffering, man. Okay. Um. It says, and thy fervent lover are given into their hands, all right? But we're subject to these other nations, man. Predominantly um, the nation of uh, Edom, the Edomites, so-called white people, all right? Verse 59, if the world now be made for our sakes, why do we not possess an inheritance with the world? How long shall this endure? Alright, so Ezra is asking the angel, like, right, like, if the world was made for our sakes, which we read in the scriptures, the world was made for us, why do we not possess an inheritance here? Why are we out here living in the ghetto, living in the projects, you know, he that earneth wages, earneth it in a bag filled with holes, you know, just as fast as your money goes in, as fast as your money goes out, man. Like, you know, I've, I, as I said, man, I just woken up this morning. You know, I've come to the car to drive to work. Someone stole my front badge, man. I don't know how much that was gonna cost to replace, but I'm gonna have to replace it because if I don't, who will? All right, so I'm gonna have to get that done. And then on top of the other things that I need to sort out this month, you know, like, man, I only just got paid the other day, but it's just like shit. You, you, you know, you just watch your 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 money vanish, man. It's like, hey, man. <laughs> Let me show you a magic trick, man. Let me, let me, let me, you know, I can make this money abracadabra. All right. That's why the scriptures say having food and raiment, that let us there with be content, man. Because the Lord pretty much just gives us what we need, man. And we just have to, to have faith. You know, as the scriptures say, the just shall live by faith, man. So that's, that's just what it is. All right. And, and guess what, man? The Lord sees us through. You know, each and every time, man. How many times have I said, shit, I don't know how I'm going to see it through this month. I don't know how I'm going to make it through the month. I might have to take a loan out this month. And the Lord just sees it through, man. The just shall live by faith, man. All right? We're made perfect through our sufferings, man. You know, it's like I want to be pissed off about my badge being stolen. But at the same time, man, I just don't really have the energy to be pissed off about it, man. Inconvenient, yeah gonna cost money yeah but i mean fuck man you know this is the will of the lord anyway i ain't in control of this shit so it is what it is man you know but the world is created for our sakes and the lord is about to uh turn things right side up man you know for the sake of time i'm just gonna have to bring out this one uh scripture and close it man Right, Isaiah 45 17 It says uh, But Israel shall be saved in the Lord With an everlasting salvation Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end So when, when our time is uh, you know, to rule you know, our, our kingdom ain't going to come to an end no, the East, the Edomites ain't gonna, you know, rise up after a thousand years and put us in captivity. You know, that's that's madness, man. That's just not gonna happen. All right. So yeah, man, we just gotta enjoy, man. I wanted to bring out Isaiah six as well. You know, talking about how basically these people ain't gonna understand the truth up until the time of destruction, man. Up until the nukes are flying, people are gonna be blinded following after their own lust their own wicked ways all right and then that 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 you know the the, the nuclear destruction is gonna hit 
and chariots are gonna come, and 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 then and then you know everyone's gonna be a believer in that day, man. All right, but you know, oh, I wanted to get Second Edges eight as well. Second Edges eight and fifty, but hey, and even the the, the first few verses, but, hey, man, it is where it is, man. You know, but I pray, Lord willing, um, this lesson has been edifying. You know. Uh, we got the Sabbath later. So yeah, we're going to be preparing for that one. But yeah, anyways, man. Lord willing, this lesson's been edifying. Until next time, I say Shalom.